Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today I want to show you how to rebuild a Traxxas, Traxxas, woo, Traxxas shock. Unfortunately this one here uh, doesn't really bounce a lot anymore. Basically what happened, this is from a stampede. Uh, yeah, so he hit something solid for sure and basically bent the main shaft. Now to fix this, you'll need the part TRX 1664. There is a 1664 T. T is for dead. Try that coded. Can't even remember the name exactly, but it's the one that's coded like a, like a gold uh, color. We're just gonna go like, like stock, chrome. One of the first step you'll need to do is basically remove your spring. You're gonna compress it and remove the shock retainer and put that aside. Let's remove our spring and make sure everything's fine here. Yeah, okay. Now you have your spring retainer on top. Put that aside again. And we have our spacer. Put that aside. And we're just gonna clean it a bit. I remove the residue of oil. And the other thing that happened at the same time while hitting something, the cap popped off and basically blew off. And that's one of the reasons the shock is empty of oil. Now to be able to fix this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with the Traxxas Aluminum shock cap, that's 3767A, A is for blue, and these are blue. We'll go with these guys here. Now one of the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the shock, the bottom, to unscrew this guy right here. Now as a matter if you scratch this, as long as you hold it to prevent it from turning, And basically, start unscrewing this guy out. Again, put that aside. Now we're going to unscrew the bottom of the shock. To remove this guy here. And while we have it in our hands, we're going to clean it. Now what we're going to try to do is push the shock inside and bring it out on the other side. Now I'm just gonna inspect the O-rings here. They seem more than fine. I'm just gonna dab them a bit on the paper. I don't want to score them or rip them apart. Because they, in, they are in perfect condition. Now we're gonna put the shock body aside. Now we're gonna clean the shaft and the piston at the same time. What we'll need to do right now is pop the C-clip. Now there is a couple of ways you can remove the C-clip. You can use a flat screwdriver, put in a corner here, you'll see there's a spot and just pop it out. Uh, some use a, a pick. This is what I'm gonna use here, one of my uh, one of my picks and basically you go in a corner and just slowly pry it out this guy's being a little bit difficult here you think to be careful when you're doing this that <laughs> doesn't fly out Because these son of a guns are not they're not big. Let's see if it's gonna focus here. May not focus. Uh, slowly she's coming. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they're not yeah, they're not that big. 
Now basically remove the, the piston. Clean at the same time. You do have another one on the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing again. Pop that one out. Let's rub in both sides just to remove the excess oil. Now this shaft here, we could put discard if you want to. Pop it aside. Grab my one of our newer one here. A lot straighter. Now we're gonna pop the bottom one back in. Basically what I use, I just use a pair of vice, uh, pop vice grip pliers. I grab the top. And miss it at the same time. Now you're gonna notice this is a little bit harder to do. I've been doing this for a while now myself and I don't always get it the first shot. No, you just want to make sure it's seated. Yes, it is. Now we're going to take our, our piston, insert it in, and grab the top one and do the same thing. Here we go. Now this is perfect. Now we're gonna take our shock body, insert it, we're gonna grab our bottom retainer Make sure that's tightened all the way in. Grab our bottom shock part. Screw it in until you can't hold it anymore. Sometimes you're able to put it in all the way in with no problem. Now there is a set of pliers you can buy to protect not to bend this. There's a couple of ways you could do it if you wanted to. You could just put a little bit of masking tape and be able to grab it with your pliers and slowly hold it. What I do on the pliers I have here, they do have a cutting part. And I grab it on the bottom and I hold it tightly and then make sure this is tight. That way I don't damage on the part here that slides in and out. Your shock will never compress to the point where I might do a little bit of damage here. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to fill our shock up. This is a car stand I have from Tree Racing that I like because it sits perfectly straight in it. Now we're going to grab our TLR shock oil. That is 30, this is what Traxxas is used, 30 in their vehicles. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill it one eight before the top. You don't wanna fill it completely, like I just did. Right, worst case scenario, you just open the cap of your oil and basically empty some back in your container. And I'll show you why in a second here, why you don't fill it to the top. I do have a video how to refill your shocks. Put this aside. Simple reason, you're gonna play with your shock up and down slowly to remove any air bubbles. 
Now, let's say that shock would have been full. It would just overflow right now. And getting to a certain point, I go slowly. Now, I don't want the piston to grab air. That's why I stop maybe 1.8 from the top, then go back down. And basically, I watch if I don't see, if I see any air bubbles. And for the moment, I don't see any at all. And there's one or two. And I go back down. Now what I do, I take my shock, I put it aside, and leave it resting for maybe a minute or two. In the meantime, we're going to open our pack here. see what's inside here they give you some new screws and give you the caps and these are really nice looking caps aluminum blue very nice this aside now we get we kept our shock basically sitting for a couple of a minute or two what I'm going to do here grab my new shock cap and put the bladder in and just make sure that the bladder is seated correctly all the way in when you put it in You'll notice there's a place that it should sit down. Sometimes there are, they are a pain to put in. But if you take your time, there we go. It's seated all the way. Now we'll grab our shock. Take our cap. Make sure a shock is always extended all completely. And we're going to screw the cap on top, making sure we're putting it straight. Here we go. Make sure it's tight. <clears throat> now, the other thing we need to do is grab our shock and compress our shock. And that's telling me our bladder is not correct because it's supposed to come out by itself. Now what we're going to do is reopen it and check our bladder. The bladder seems fine. What I'm going to do here I want to add a little bit of oil in it to fill up to the rim and put our bladder back for bladder about our cap. Remove the excess oil that came out. There we go. Our shock comes back out. Now what we're going to do is put our spacer back in our top shock retainer, grab our spring, pop our shock back in, and there you go. Put this back on your machine, and you're off to the racing. If you guys like this video, hit that thumb, that 
the like button thumbs up button <laughs> and don't forget to hit that bell to see when next time i upload a video to get notified and if, like i said if you have any comments or something post down below i'll be glad to answer you guys thank you